what is going on everyone so today i'm going to be reviewing the front end masters course and just tell you some of my thoughts about it so in case this is your first time on my channel i'm essentially documenting myself learning how to code and this is one of the courses that i'm currently going through so i wanted to share my thoughts with you so i saw a review video before about it but apparently the person was quite experienced and there wasn't any actual thoughts on someone who's just getting started like myself so i figured in case you're trying to figure out is it worth the money because it is a lot uh, pricier compared to like the cheaper you know ten dollar courses out there currently it's at about forty dollars a month or 39 right now and they have like yearly plans and whatnot but basically it's like 40 bucks um pretty much per month and i figured i'd get into it and see what it's like because i knew about this uh about the first few days i got into um coding and researching but i just went with the other free resources and cheaper alternatives before actually diving into here and a lot of people, right now I'm currently learning JavaScript, and they were recommending front-end masters heavily. And if you are like me, and you're learning just like uh, myself, and you know you got to JavaScript, it is not as easy as HTML and CSS. So I figured I'd get into this, and this is the current website, so if you've already seen it already, that's great. But in case this is your very first time, and you have no idea about this, you can definitely check them out. And these are just like testimonies and whatnot. And they do have this boot camp thing. I think... Um, I can't remember how many courses, I think it was like four plus, but they give you like some intro to web dev course and then like a inner, like super basic uh, beginners like JavaScript. And then there's like other two, I can't remember exactly cause it doesn't, I can't um, see, but if I click on more info, let me show you. And this is the free, uh, free thing right now. So basically you enroll into this and then they basically show you the, I guess it's like an intro to uh, front end masters style. And I did, I saw it before, but I think it was like a couple of weeks ago when I took it. But now like recently, just this past week, I actually bought the, um, like the premium version so I can actually see what it's really about. But in case you just don't want to spend, you just like, Hey, let me see what it's about. They have that free option here and let's go into the actual, um, the path. So they have this thing with, um, courses. So they have a bunch of courses on here, but the learning part is the actual, the cool thing about this. So. Here I am on the learning pass. I'm logged in right now. And you can see here, I just, the beginner should be more because um, I watched like the previous courses on a different account when I had it on the trial. But when I upgraded it, it like obviously it's a different account. So it didn't save, but basically let me just go through this really quickly. It's beginner, professional, expert. So that's just like their uh, like title. But ideally if you go through this, you're not gonna be an expert in development, but you're gonna have you know quite vast knowledge of the technologies but um they have also like computer science haven't looked into these but um i watched the design part and there's some really cool courses in here which i'll, I'll click through all of them in just a second but i just want to show you like the quick pages and if you didn't care about like the past you just wanted to go like straight into javascript or css or like no or whatnot then you can go through here so as you can see this is like the intro i guess of my current thoughts on it now because my main focus is um, JavaScript, but eventually I would get to these. I'll probably make an update video unless I end up using like an additional resource. But um, for now, I'm just gonna show you my inner, like initial thoughts because I didn't see any videos or content out there of someone just showing their first thoughts. So people like myself, there's nothing for me to base my, um, if I wanted to get into or not. So I figured I'd make this video for you. So pretty much, uh, let me just start off from here. So basically, beginner, that's the first one you start, you click here. And pretty much uh, like like I hear so um, CSS. I think it's not in the right order, but yeah. So pretty much this is the intro into web development course, and this guy is from um, Brian Holtz, which he's from Microsoft. And uh, this I think this is free if you do the boot camp thing, which is you don't have to pay anything, and it's like 11 hours long. I watched a little bit, but it's mainly based off the syllabus that I saw. It's like HTML stuff, so I didn't really spend time watching this one. This I did watch this a little bit, but um I watched on a different account, so you can't tell that it's updated. And then this is the um there's an also a, a CSS course right here. I don't know why I, since I already watched it, you can't see it like show up, but ideally if you're logged in, you'd see this. It's just like on CSS grid and flexbox. So if you already did um like HTML and CSS, then you don't have to worry about that. But if you are trying to learn that, they do have that alternative. And then um, they got like dev tools here. So I watched a little bit of this cause I was like, um, I did some stuff with debugging, but since it was, it was a lot to take in at once. So I figured I'd just watch a little bit and then come back to it 
when I needed to because it was just like it was super overwhelming. There's a lot of cool tips and tricks, but uh, since I'm currently learning right now, it's like I won't be able to remember all of this stuff. SD beginner pass, and then underneath this, there's like additional um, courses that they show you here, but I haven't seen any of those. And let's go to the Java. Where's it at? Let's go to the um, professional. So this is the one I'm gonna learn more on JavaScript part because this is a lot of heavy JavaScript. And this guy right here, he's he's a beast. He um he has CodeSmith, so that's another boot camp I believe in New York, and I think they're in LA. You can look up more research on this, but um I have it open right now, and you can see like this is stuff. But I don't want to like play because of like copyright now. But it he is really really good at explaining the under the hood. So. I'll tell you like the end thoughts at the end. So if you want to hear that, um, make sure you watch the end. But I'm just going to give you like a quick, like what's inside. Because I, I don't think I could see um, everything. Maybe you could, but here's some more stuff. So I'm going to have to watch these courses eventually. And then you can see here. And I watched a little bit of the CSS, but it was, um, I was getting distracted. So I'm trying to go back and focus on JavaScript mainly. And then I'll go back to here. But again, there's additional uh, courses here. I watched this entire design for developers. This is a really, really nice course. Like it, um, uh, there's like two things in here that I got that like made me look at um, designing websites completely different. And then I'm eventually I'm going to watch more of this other stuff. But again, I've only been in it for like a week or less. So um, I haven't, I've only can watch like so, so many courses in that time period. And let me go back and uh, I'll go to the ones that I actually like have started and like have percentages. Because the other stuff, obviously, I, I wouldn't be able to tell anything. But you can see here, yeah, the CSS grid. This is from the beginner sat, uh, path. Design for developers. That's the um, course I just completed. This, let's see what happens if I... Do I click on this? Does it show anything? Oh, just notes. And then here's like the advanced stuff and then some more stuff here. And let me go down below to the actual... Um, like the focus one. So like JavaScript are right here. So pretty much... And we got the hard parts by um, Will, and then Kyle Simpson. Apparently, he's really famous with JavaScript. I, mean, I think he has the books for him, so a lot of people probably know about that. In my case, you're just getting started like me, you probably won't. But um, eventually, I'll get into these courses. I'll watch these. But so far, this is what I have consumed, and I'll tell you right now my current thoughts. So you can see that um, if you haven't noticed, let me go back. That, that front end masters, it goes in quick. So it's not like a um, Udemy course where they tell you like every little detail, like every single thing, like step by step. It goes in fast. So like for JavaScript, like if I go back here, if I go here, it's like straight into it, it's in JavaScript, the hard parts. And then I had um, Fundamentals to Functional, which is by um, Bianca. I don't know why it doesn't show the... Um, yeah, so, so this one, I already watched this one, but the way they do it, it's like you can't, um, the pop-out part doesn't show, but basically I already watched that one, and that was the first course on JavaScript. So my thoughts right now, if you're watching this, you're like, hey, should I get in or not? I would definitely recommend that you learn the basics, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript for at least a couple of weeks, like maybe a month or so. Because when you try to get into these, they go into more complicated, complex, like behind the scene detailed explanations that if you don't know like the basic things of like um, how things work, it just wouldn't, it wouldn't make sense and you'd be just super confused. But uh, if you're at say like, think of it like levels, like level one, like you have not touched any code, front end masters might not be the right move. That's just my opinion. Maybe it is if you're, um, you've taken it before, let me know in the comments below. But if you literally touch like barely any code, then I'd probably say go with additional like free resources first, get some, uh, like, like I guess say, um, get some knowledge of everything, at least HTML, CSS and JavaScript or whatever else you're trying to learn if you're trying to do front end. And then you can probably go into, um, front end masters and actually will be, uh, more insightful. Cause um, I'm on like the level two, like middle stage right now, I'd say, so that this stuff is starting to click. Cause at first, you know, like he says here, like high order functions, closures, asynchronous, um, object oriented, like seeing that like Udemy courses, I'm sure if you know, it's like it hits you, but like you really have no idea what's going on. They just say, oh, if this happens, this goes here, type this, this is gonna result. But here, like he literally goes straight behind the scenes, like everything step by step how it's actually happening. 
I'm gonna have to finish this course here. And I'm, I'm pretty sure the trend's gonna continue as these new videos I watch here, which I'll make update videos in the future on my thoughts for that. But essentially I'd say it's more for people who uh, are kind of already starting coding for at least a couple weeks. Cause if I were to get in this first day, like I just started, I'm like, hey, some guy says, uh, check out front of masters to learn how to code. I'd probably get overwhelmed and I'd probably freak out cause um, it's, it's hit, it hits you hard, it hits you far and fast. And even, uh, let's see, go back to, let me go to CSS cause that's even more simple. Like JavaScript is a lot more complicated. But even CSS, like uh, this first one, um, CSS Grid and Flexible, it's quick. Like it's not like um, super slow motion. Like if you don't have any experience using them at all, you probably would not be able to grasp everything they say in here. And um, that's why I would say definitely have some experience first. But um, you definitely can test it out if you want to. But the one I say pro of it is it. It's very detailed. Like it's in a, um, if I go back here, it's like in a classroom setting. So it's like a high quality, almost like a college or like school lecture. And there's like literal people in this um, video. Like, like you can't see them obviously, but like it's like the teachers in the front and people are asking questions that a lot of questions I actually have myself that I would, you can't do on like a Udemy course or like a YouTube video. You can't be like as that moment, like why did you put this instead of that? But in here, like people actually ask questions. So I think that's really helpful if, um, at least for the JavaScript part, for HTML and CSS, I mean, I, it's like, you can pretty much learn that um, pretty easily. But here, I think that's a pro is that it's very engaging in sense of, um, it feels like you're actually there. Cause there's a lot of um, online people while they're recording this. I mean, these are obviously pre-recorded, but like while they did film it, there's a lot of people watching online at the same time that ask questions so that you can have a much more detailed explanation in case like if someone says like um what is fetch doing here or like why why is console.log data right there like there's simple things like that obviously i don't know if they said exactly that question but stuff like that is what people can ask while they're in the class and then you can hear them and their thoughts there which it definitely helps out any course i've taken like udemy or whatnot you just like do on like the, um the q a like support thing and it's like by the time they reply to you, you like it's like two days later, so it's like it doesn't really help too much. So that's a pro. I'd say the con is that it's not very um, project based. So I think that's a big, really, really big thing that I noticed that um, I'm getting stuck in is like tutorial. So let me go over, let me go back to the pads. Let me show you. Actually, let me go to the courses tab. That's the last, that's the last thing I haven't showed is the courses. So Occasionally, they apparently they do like live um, workshops, which is I guess that's like a course, just like pre um, about to be like uploaded. But um, anyway, so here is uh, other course I took. So this is a little um, funding game I made, and I watched this. So uh, let me actually show you what I made for this part. But let me scroll down through the course really quick just to show you like what this is. So this is just like random courses that aren't specific towards a uh, like a path. So this is just like additional accessory work that if you wanted to check out, you can. So eventually I'll probably watch this video like in a couple months from now. And then let's see other stuff here. Like you can see here, you can scroll, I'll scroll through really quickly. But yeah, these are a bunch of stuff here. I don't wanna go too crazy because you can see like there's literally, there's probably like hundreds of courses on here. But let me switch, oh, let me switch my screen to um, this course's projects. You can see like what I um, built through there. Yeah, this one. So here it's like a game. So I can't, I don't, I think this was when I was um, when I was a kid. I don't remember playing this sort of game, but apparently um, the instructor said it's like um, pretty much you like click the middle button here, and then there's a like fox that hatches, and I have like the bag right there. But um, I don't know why it's not supposed to be there. But basically, in a couple of seconds, if I put out the console, you might be able to see like the clock is ticking, and pretty much it's gonna get hungry, so it's gonna make a little face, which I'll show you in just a second. It should be at like 15 seconds. I don't know when this started, but um, basically he's hungry now. So this is a little fish. So I click the fish. Now it's hungry. So it's going to eat. In a couple of seconds now, it's going to have to use the bathroom, which is this middle emoji. It basically cleans it up. And it's supposed to be in this bag, but um, I don't know why. And you're wondering, like, did I make this art? No, apparently the um, for this video, they had like a artist create this stuff. So I'll talk about, once I show you how the game works, then I'll talk about like this code on the left side. You're probably wondering, what is this? So um, 
give it a couple seconds. Uh, see, so yeah, I had this left running for a while, quite a while. So you can't, I can't even tell what um what second it's on. And if I coded this properly, it should. The fox shouldn't use the bathroom soon, but um, <laughs> or not? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe I'm just uh, I messed something up. But uh, in the meantime, let me talk about the code on the left side. So, in case you've been following me on my coding journey, I've been learning HTML, CSS, and pretty much JavaScript. And like I've touched Node, but like I haven't watched a course on it just to like get something set up, and then a little bit of SAS. But basically here. He has it like a whole system of um, naming files and stuff. And like he had this plugin with this icon. So like all this stuff new to me, like all this stuff, like JSON, um, the way he did it like this. And uh, let's see, um, style, all this. Yeah, apparently I messed up something because the Fox ain't doing what I wanted to do. But there he spins and cheers up. Yeah, so I messed something up. I must have messed something up. And then also on the uh, right side is the weather. So like I can change the rain. The Fox turns around. And then boom, like that. And I can't remember um, the other codes, but basically that's like a short version. Then the actual codes will show more. Yeah, so now you look, he's hungry. So if I don't feed him, I don't remember how many seconds it was, but eventually he'll die. But like this was a cool project to see like the setup. Yeah, so here he died and RIP. Yeah, so this project was pretty cool to see like how um, the th things are set up, and especially for like, um, like here's JavaScript. And let me um, let's spread this over stuff like this. And I'd say in terms of like fully grasping JavaScript, HTML and stuff, you this probably won't be that beneficial. It's cool if you're probably more experienced. But for me, it's really fast paced. And like the way he names certain things, like I haven't seen that yet. And like over here, like the if else statements, you know, the functions, whatnot, they're cool. But like certain things I haven't got to yet. So it didn't really um, like hit me or I would say absorb. But like here, like this, and we got this like crazy, yeah. So like if else, simple stuff like this, you can read it. But um, I'd say the reason this this thing was cool is to see like how um they build projects and whatnot. But the I'd say the flaw in this is that it was it wasn't from the ground up. Like it was starting from scratch, but really it wasn't because um this artwork was pre-made. So like for me, as someone starting off, I didn't know like how me typing the HTML and CSS like created this artwork that made it work because I don't have the I don't even know where the file is for the um where is the file for the uh, the sprites like right here this is the um like CSS or CSS right here and like I since I didn't make this part this was like the folder it didn't I didn't register like what was connecting so I guess that's like um the thing like it wasn't completely from scratch but it was still a cool little project to just play around with and it's like a game style thing this is from that course right here so if you are more experienced this probably will benefit you more but for me since i'm getting started i probably have to go with more like um i'd say like less advanced stuff but overall this is my thoughts on currently the course that i've watched for front end masters so in short i guess summary is if you just started off coding from scratch like no code at all I'd probably recommend you do other stuff before getting into it. So if you're in like the middle stages like me right now, it might be beneficial for you unless you find something else for there. But like based off reviews and just me taking the current JavaScript courses, they're very, very, very good and high quality. So um, definitely that's cool if you want to supplement your information with there. And ideally, like they say, project base is the best way to learn. So that's what I'm going to currently focus on once I get through some more courses on here. So I'm not going to go through every single course, but um, just enough to like, you know, get some more knowledge and then I'll go into straight into product base so that I can actually get it and understand what I'm doing. But aside from that, this completes my review for today. So if you have not already, hit that subscribe button down below if you want to follow me along my coding journey. Give me a thumbs up. Comment down below any other resources that you know that will help other people out there trying to learn code, maybe HTML, CSS, JavaScript, or any other languages out there. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.